What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in his mug, doing a all quiet on the Western Front, or Martian Front, sorry, video. <laughs> what is that? That's a book. Uh, and a fantastic movie. But we're gonna start with our uh, tripod, a whole tripod. I'm gonna be doing the Heat Ray one. The Heat Ray build seems to be the best one. Everybody really likes it. Uh, there's also slight variations to building the black dust and the green gas ones, but uh, we're, we're just doing an assault tripod. So here I've got the uh, center section, and I'm going to be building, uh, slotting in the legs in the back. I've cleaned up all the mold lines beforehand and snipped these off, but these are really, really easy to clean and prep and get ready. I'm using Tamiya Extra Thin Clear Plastic Cement. You can see it in the back with the green label. Fantastic stuff. I mean, there's there's plastic. I've used plastic cement by Model Masters. This Tamiya Extra Thin, who uh, which I actually got from a recommendation from Wise Owl. So thank you, Wise Owl, for uh, recommending this uh, product. So uh, you've got two antennas kind of things that slot into the center sections and then you can really choose where you put this last leg. One of the three legs is segmented and um, cast in such a way that you can build it to look like it's walking, like the, the tripod is in the process of walking. So you could have it bent up at an angle, you could have it reaching out forward, and uh, you can decide which leg you want it to be. So on one of my tripods, I made it the front left leg. On the second one, I made it the front right leg, and this one I think I'm doing the front left leg again. But it's really up to you. You could even make it the back leg, or um, you can even build it as if it's standing completely still. I think I, there's no reason why it has to be uh, bent up at an angle. And yeah, as you can see here, I was kind of having a little bit of uh, difficulty getting this, this pieces to slot into place, but that's no problem. You know, I always uh, kind of want to dry fit these guys first, and I think because this was my third tripod that I built, I was uh, already getting a little bit cocky, and I, I thought I knew how to do it without, yeah, without messing up. Okay, so once that first bent section is done, you really can build this last le uh, these last two sections of the leg uh, straight or kind of bent at an angle, as if the tripod is in motion. And I, I like them kind of bent at an angle to give it the impression that the tripods are moving forward or about to stab down on something. So I'm going to hold it at that angle. Um, the little antenna feeler things in the center, interestingly enough, I guess those are kind of what they use to attack any nearby units. And so when we paint them up, they're going to be a little bit bloody, which is, I think, pretty cool. It will contrast nicely off of the bright silver. One of the ways you use this to me a clear cement is that you just kind of put it down onto the the two pieces after you've already kind of snap fitted them together or even held them together while the glue dries and the extra thin cement is almost like a watery consistency so it'll go into the cracks instead of having to uh, uh, instead of having them kind of like harden in the seams it's uh, it's a really great way of getting getting the the glue into the into the joint to make it a lot a lot tighter. Right, this is the bottom part of the tripod, so we're just gonna slot that in, push it in, and as long as you push all of the other limbs in um, adequately, it should snap really easily together. And here's the base, nice little. Uh, three little slots for the legs to go into. You see that third one is if you decide to make your leg uh, straight, stand up straight. Uh, the tricky thing is if you're only going to do two legs connected to the base, your model might be leaning to one side and um, that's just because of the weight distribution. So you're going to have to hold it or balance it or when you're gluing it to the base make sure you get it at the angle that you like and then lean it on its side or prop it up against something so that as the glue hardens, you make sure that your model doesn't um, get glued into place at a funny angle. And here we've got the top section. 
very much like a, a crustacean, like a crab. Uh, you've got the, the top part of the what I, looks like a shell and the bottom part. So you glue those first and you've got four little pipe sections in the headpiece. And I also like to put a little glue in the inner area of the shell that uh, attaches to the top. So um, not only are you getting the four contact pieces with the uh, those little pipes in the center, but you're also cre creating a nice seam, uh, a join at the seam, rather. Kind of also reminds me of Flight of the Navigator. That was a great movie. Okay, slot that in. It's really starting to look like a crab shell. Kind of hold it down in place. And then we're going to put some glue on the front part, the, uh, the eye piece. Because that's going to go right down uh, into the center. And you can kind of see at the bottom where I guess the chin would be if it was like a regular skull or a head. There's a nice little tab to connect the mask to the front of the headpiece. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue right in there. And there's no real... Um, obvious way that the front piece connects you just kind of have to find where it sits and just pop it in and hold it down and there you go yeah real flight of the navigator kind looking thing so again I'm putting the extra thin cement into the seam and it'll really um, just kind of go in spread out and uh, harden really nicely. Okay, just like the front legs, you've got two little sockets there for uh, whatever you decide to equip your guys with. You want to make sure you look at the instructions to see how to equip your guy correctly because I think I made a mistake on one of the other assault tripods. I put one of the wrong limbs in. So since this is one with the heat ray, it's got like one arm with a clamp and then the other has the, the heat ray on it and there is a little section that connects to the, the bottom portion and I'm putting a little bit of extra thin liquid cement right there in the center and we're just gonna pop that onto the bottom half hold it down for a little while and there you go assault tripod all built up in very little time Woohoo! So here's some still pictures of the model all built up. You can see uh, here's the loadout, the heat ray, and the assault arm. And here are the other two. There's, this is the one with the black dust cannon on the left arm, and one with the green gas canisters. So this one has uh, the assault arm holding a green globe, and then the other arm is, uh, or one of one of the tentacles in the front has the canister.